TVs, me. projectors, or LED walls? Which one's the best? Well, when you said, when you said, all right, Stuart, it activated Siri on my iPad. Oh, so no. Hang on. I don't, go away. Go, oh, there we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> um, and I said the magic word, so hopefully it activated somebody else's that's watching this. <laughs> Comment below if your yeah, if yours yeah. got activated. Oops. Sorry about that. So what what are we even talking about? TVs, projectors, LED wall. Like okay, so let's just run down a couple scenarios. Okay. All right. So in 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 the we're gonna stick to the church realm. Okay, and yep. that could be any size. Yep. You know. So but let's just envision for a second what we're talking about. You've got your program feed. So that would be like, let's say you're running some lyrics. That's common. You know, the, the, yep. the band's on stage and you've got some lyrics, maybe with a little moving background or, mm -hmm. or something. So you want to project that so the audience can see it. That yep. would be like your program feed. Okay. So what your audience sees. Then you might have what's called either a stage display or confidence monitor. They're, they're the same thing. You're right. Um, and that's usually what the band sees. So that might be on the back wall or hanging somewhere or whatever. And that's usually like... A black screen with like white text and stuff. It's just easy to see. Very, very basic, simple. It's usually like if if I'm if I'm the worship leader, yeah, it would show me as I'm looking straight ahead, like the lyrics that I'm supposed to be singing right now, and then maybe like the next slide or something sure. like that. Uh, if it was a pastor, it might have some notes on it for him. Just yeah. things for him to be able to see as he's doing. So that's the main, like situation. Situation you might have like you know lobby stuff going sure, on sure. Or, or whatever so the question is do i use tvs projectors or led wall i think first it'd be good to clarify that none of those are bad options correct so i will say this because again we're in churches all the time all the and time. i have discussions <laughs> so you run you walk into best buy and, yeah. you, and you see a you see a 75 inch tv in front of you mm -hmm. or maybe you've got a 75 inch tv in your living room and you're like mm. man this is big this is huge we're doing this yep. in our auditorium. Yep. And then you get it, you install it, yep. and it looks this big. It's the tiniest thing ever. It's like on your yeah. back wall as your all confidence about perspective. monitor. It's like, okay, yeah. Well, that looked great yep. in your living room when you're 15, 10, 15 feet away from it. Yep. But when you're 60 feet away from it on a big wall, it's not very good. Now, on the flip side, I've been in some nice small churches with just a good, you know, good simple auditorium. Or uh, this happens a lot of time on mobile sites where it's just easier for them to have a couple TVs that they put up on stands. Yeah. And their audience, like, max distance is 30 feet from the TV. That could be a decent situation. Yeah. But when people are saying, like, well, TVs just look better or they're more affordable or I don't know, whatever rationalization people use to mm -hmm. say, I'm going to throw a TV on a wall in a big church auditorium, usually you're not going to get the result you're looking for. Yeah, so in that scenario, a lot of times it's the church wants to do it themselves, and they're not really sure how they're going to hang a projector. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, I've hung a TV before, so how hard can it be? Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Now, it's pretty obvious that projectors do a certain thing. Like, obviously, you can get a much bigger yep. screen. A lot more control. Um, for, you know, just you can get it bigger, and it's yep. not going to cost a, a ton of money. Um so that makes sense. But let me just talk, because we're keeping these short. Yep. Let me talk about LED walls for a second. Because so, LED walls are cool. Yeah, they're so cool. We got to so, have one. So here's the deal. You're, you're a church, and you want to stick an LED wall right behind the band because you think it's cool. Yeah. Cool. And you're in a medium size, small to medium-sized church, let's say. Well, you're going to run into a whole host of problems. Number one, it's really, really expensive. Yeah. Number two... All of a sudden, now your cameras don't work right. Right. Because you've got all this insane amount of backlight yep. coming at you. And if you haven't properly lit forwards, key lighting, then you're going to have major issues. Oh, so yeah. there's that. But a lot of times churches that are wanting to do that are going for an online look. And I will tell you that you can spend a fraction of the cost yep. and get a really nice looking projector that will do exactly what you want. And I'm going to specifically name a church yeah. that wasn't looking at an LED wall. They just wanted to have a cool look. Sure. And that's uh, one of our clients, New Song Church. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to have this certain look. Yeah, they just wanted to have and, stuff going on. And they them. wanted to do, we kind of, they let us have creative freedom. Yep. 
and they wanted to do um, basically like a textured sort of a textured uh, wall yeah. where it was like it was a project it was it was it was like an LED wall or a projection or whatever but it had lines going on it you yep. know a lot of, a lot of you know angles and stuff like that and we built it from scratch and yeah. it was awesome and it's not even square like it, it literally goes like this angled down I'm not in frame yeah this angled down angled only because I was getting ready to put the angle and they stopped me. It was like, hey, that's cool. That's cool. Leave it off. It's, it's cool. But <laughs> You guys got creative. What we did in that situation was we had two projectors yep. making a big, wide image. It's called edge blending. Yep. And what's nice about that is when you project onto something like that, it's not as bright as an LED wall. Yep. What happens when it's not as bright? Your dynamic range isn't so great. What's dynamic range? Well, your eyes are really good at looking at stuff, but cameras are not as good. Right. So you need to bring that dynamic, you don't want things to be too black, you don't want things to be too bright. Yeah. When you bring that dynamic range, uh, dial it back a bit, cameras really like that sort of feel. So imagine you take that, you think like a camera for a second, you've got something behind you that's not super bright, but looks cool and you can do moving backgrounds and it's textured and it's awesome. Yeah. Then you get your key light in front of you, cameras love that. So I will say, if you think you need an LED, LED wall because you're wanting to make something specific online, think about projection. Yeah. Because projection might be the way to go. And with projection, you can get a lot more bang for your buck. Yeah. yeah. Like, and that's the last thing I'll say as we wrap this one up is projectors are one of those pieces of equipment where in a sense you get what you pay for don't go the cheapest cheap oh yeah like there is there are levels of projectors and you might have a vision in your head and you might see numbers on a page that look impressive yeah but if the projector wasn't designed to do what you think it's going to do then you're just going to be disappointed so that's another case where bringing in a consulting firm like us can be yeah. really helpful correct because we're going to have a whole slew of projectors that do exactly what you want them to do and you'll be putting your money in the right place